Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about standard hydrogen electrode or normal hydrogen electrode. We can't find the potential of any electrode independently because half cell reactions do not take place. So to measure the potential of any electrode, we must compare its potential with a known potential. And the most widely used reference electrode is standard hydrogen electrode. So in this video, we are going to understand everything about standard hydrogen electrode or SHE. So let's start. For the conduction of electricity in a cell, it must have two electrodes. They are a cathode and an anode. Cathode is the positive terminal of the cell and anode is the negative terminal of the cell. So if we consider an electrode, then obviously we can't find the electrode potential of it because it can't conduct electricity. A single electrode cannot conduct electricity because it can't complete the circuit. If we just talk about a cathode, then obviously it will need an anode. If we talk about anode, then it will need a cathode. So single electrode cannot conduct electricity. And if it can't conduct electricity, we can't find the electrode potential of it but still you can see over here there are some examples of some electrodes having some electrode potential how do we calculate the electrode potential of a single electrode how did we know that then remember the concept of measurement what is measurement measurement is the comparison of unknown physical quantity with a known standard quantity right so if we use the same concept we just need a known quantity and we need to compare the unknown quantity with that known quantity to get the value so in this case that known quantity is the standard hydrogen electrode whose electrode potential we know now we will just use this uh, electrode in order to compare the value of unknown quantity and we can find the value of the electrode potential of other electrodes as well. First of all, let's see the construction and working of standard hydrogen electrode. A standard hydrogen electrode consists of a glass tube like this. See the diagram. This is a very important diagram. This is a glass tube and there is a platinum wire like this that is again enclosed in another glass tube and this platinum wire is attached with a platinum foil and this is all kept in a beaker this is all kept in a beaker now let me level it properly this is the platinum wire this is platinum foil from here hydrogen gas can be bubbled inside whose pressure is 1 atm and it is dipped in a chemical which can provide it as plus ion that is acidic solution and the best one is 1 mhcl solution so we use hydrochloric acid in which we dip that platinum foil but that the but the concentration of this hydrochloric acid must be 1 m we need to think of that okay and this is the platinum wire like this so this is the complete diagram of a standard hydrogen electrode where this is glass tube glass tube let me write this figure standard hydrogen electrode or normal hydrogen electrode c or me right nhc me hai or me okay so this is the diagram of standard hydrogen electrode now let's understand how it works okay so what actually happens see uh, this platinum foil is further coated with finely divided platinum black let me write that the platinum foil is coated with finely divided platinum black platinum black platinum black is coated on it so so that it can absorb hydrogen gas as we are talking about electrode then we must have this hydrogen gas over here 
right if it was some solid metal electrode then we would not need anything but as we are talking about gaseous electrode then gaseous electrode must be adsorbed on some material and that is platinum the reason why you use platinum is that it does not go oxidation and reduction easily and it is inert gas sorry it is inert metal so obviously it will not react and only hydrogen will take part in a chemical reaction so the foil the foil can adsorb adsorb the hydrogen gas hydrogen gas from the inlet pure pure hydrogen gas at one atmospheric pressure okay is bubbled inside the solution inside the solution of 1 m hcl because it needs h plus ion so for the oxidation or reduction it needs h plus ion and that h plus ion will be provided by this hydrochloric acid whose concentration is 1 m okay the standard hydrogen electrode may act as anode or cathode cathode when it is when it is coupled with an experimental electrode experimental electrode so as we are talking about the reference electrode then it can act either as a node or as cathode when it is coupled or when it is joined with the experimental electrode now while joining what do we do we can join this electrode with other electrode by a salt bridge from here okay we can simply use a salt bridge like this and we can use another electrode and we can complete the cell over here now see there are two reactions possible for oxidation half for oxidation half the hydrogen must lose electron so what can happen for oxidation half for oxidation half the reaction follows like this this hydrogen gas will break and it will give two h plus ions plus two electrons so here you can see two h plus that is two plus two minus it will be balanced zero and here the hydrogen gas is losing electron so this is oxidation reaction right oxidation reaction and it happens on a node when the cell when the standard hydrogen electrode behaves as a node then this reaction happens similarly okay first of all let's write the cell notation for oxidation half then what will happen platinum h2 gas and what at one atmospheric pressure will convert to h plus in aqueous form whose concentration is 1 m so this is the cell notation for the oxidation half in which the hydrogen gas converts into h plus and gives two electron as it is losing electron or simply you can see the oxidation number of this hydrogen h is zero here the oxidation number of h is one so oxidation number is increasing so this is oxidation reaction similarly for reduction half for reduction half that is when this electrode acts as cathode then what type of reaction is possible in reduction half it will gain the electron that means that h plus will gain two electrons actually two h plus will get two electrons and it will give us h2 gas so this is aqueous this is the electron in the solution they will combine to give h2 so its cell notation will be what this h plus gas at one uh, sorry one m concentration is given uh, sorry is giving hydrogen gas at one atmospheric pressure and platinum 
here we are writing this platinum because without the platinum this whole process would not work platinum acts as the reaction site it adsorbs the hydrogen gas and it acts as the reaction site let me write it over here here platinum foil platinum foil works as a reaction site where the reaction will occur so this is the working and reaction of the standard hydrogen electrode after doing this much we must know the electrode potential of this value but still we don't know how to calculate it right so we arbitrarily consider its electrode potential to be zero let me write it somewhere for that let me erase this portion so we arbitrarily consider the electrode potential of SHV that is standard hydrogen electrode to be zero the electrode potential of standard hydrogen electrode is taken to be zero so this is the arbitrary arbitrary value we just consider its value to be zero so that we can find the value of electrode potential of other electrode by comparing with it in fact in fact it is neither zero neither zero nor same at all temperature actually it is taken zero at 25 degrees celsius not only that but it is taken zero at every temperature but in actual fact the electrode potential of she is neither zero nor it is constant at say, constant at all the temperature it keeps changing but still we need a reference electrode so we consider it to be zero but nowadays we don't actually use this electrode frequently the reason for that is there are other electrodes that give accurate result but what is the reason why standard hydrogen electrode is not being used frequently the reason is there are certain limitations of standard hydrogen electrode which restricts us from using it frequently because it can't give accurate result there are some limitations let's see them one by one the first limitation of standard hydrogen electrode is the pressure of the gas is difficult difficult to maintain at 1 atm so here what do we know the pressure of the gas must be 1 atm right the pressure of hydrogen gas must be 1 atm and it is very difficult to maintain so obviously this is a drawback similarly another limitation is the concentration the concentration of h plus ion is difficult difficult to maintain to be 1m so obviously it is very much difficult to maintain the concentration of hydrogen ion to be 1m this is another drawback similarly it is not portable it is not portable it is very difficult to migrate it from one place to another the reason for that is its size is little bigger and there are chemicals being used over here that's why it is difficult to transfer it from one place to another that's why it is not portable that is another drawback and the fourth drawback is it gets it gets poisoned by small impurities so even if there is presence of very small tiny amount of impurities it will get poisoned it will not show us the accurate result right that is another drawback similarly the fifth one is its electrode potential its electrode potential is not zero is not zero at all temperature so 
as its electrode potential is not zero at all temperature then if we are doing the experiment at some other temperature then obviously it will be difficult for us to get the accurate result so these are some of the limitation of standard hydrogen electrode or SHE that restricts us from using it for special purpose. Nowadays, we have replaced this standard hydrogen electrode by another electrode that can give us accurate result that is calomel electrode about which we are going to talk in next video. So in this video, we understood the construction, working, reaction and the limitation of standard hydrogen electrode. This question is frequently asked in your examination as well. So be prepared for this question. That's all in this video. I hope you understood everything about standard hydrogen electrode. If you like the video, please share this video as much as you can. And thank you for watching the video.